G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. So lovely to have you here with me in my studio today. Now today, I am going to do another 3D bloom, um, but um, I'm going to use a different resin. Now the reason why I'm going to use a different resin is because I've got all these different resins <clears throat> that I bought oh, over a year ago um, before I started using platinum. And I was looking at them all the other day because I'm, I'm cleaning up my studio, getting ready to move, and I thought I must use these up. So I've got Delcom Crystal Clear. I'm just going to go through them real quick with you. Not that I'm moving away from platinum. I love platinum, but I don't want these to go to waste. I have Mastercast 121. I think when they get old, they start going yellow. So <laughs> I haven't even opened these yet. So I need to use that. Um, I've also got I've got art resin. Lots of resins, hey. I've got just resin, diamond coat. And then the one I'm using today is Pro Marine tabletop. So I'm going to use those today. Right, it's a lot, hey. I mean, I have got a couple of others as well, but they're over there on the shelf. Right, so I'm going to show you. This is what I did last night, just a little, a little play and a little practice. So it's just on a piece of black card so that you can see. It's really pretty, isn't it? So I'm going to try and do that again, see if I can recreate it. I just thought I better try it first because I hadn't used this resin before. So that's what I'm going to try and create today. Um, I've got my resin sitting in here. I only made up um, <clears throat> about 100 grams. Now A is always heavier than B. I did 50 grams of A and 45 grams of B. It's similar to, I think it's similar like consistency to the um, Platinum 360 Plus. So I'm going to go by the same where I just sort of let it wait about 20 minutes or so before I start piping so I'm just going to leave it in there for leave it in there for 10 minutes decant it and then 10 minutes later after that and by the time I've started mixing and everything I'll be ready to go so about 20 minutes wait so um, I'll be back to you in another five minutes when it's ready okay so it's only been a, a couple of minutes but I just want to check this guy's temperature I know, I like to take the temperatures just so that I can get a consistent result each time. If I write it down and I go, okay, I need to decant it this time and pipe it this time. All right, we're at the, over 35 degrees, so, and there's my 10 minutes up. So let me just clean off my thermometer stick here. So I don't want to get resin all over him, do I? So now I will decant. Um, so, oops, there's a hair. So I'll just do these two to begin with. Pour some in there. And I want to keep about 15 grams or half an ounce. I'm just going to pop this on my scale. Bear with me. And I'll just take out 15 grams and that'll be for my white. Okay, that's, that's it. That's my 15 grams, my half an ounce. Alright, so I can put a little bit more in these now, finish them off. There's a little black dot. I don't know what that is. What a little black dot. So it's a pretty thick resin. I find that the, um, you know, the one-to-one -one resins tend to be thicker than the two-to-one res resins. <laughs> resins all right let's just spread that oh i should have sprayed my molds with some alcohol first shouldn't i oh, sometimes i do sometimes i don't i forget all right let's give that a bit of a torch you haven't gone in there yet so yeah probably whether or not we get some bubbles i'm not sure because it's as I said, it's a very thick resin. I did stir it really slowly though. Like I put my timer on for four minutes and I just stirred gently. Okay, 
Now I've got till 10 to 9 before I can start piping. Now, the lovely Stephanie Hancock. Hi, Steph. She sent me some Marabou inks quite a while back. I've used some of them, but I haven't used these ones. Well, I used one of them last night, but I haven't shown you. Actually, let me come up behind you and I'll show you. So this is the one that I used. I'm going to give them a shake. Um, that's the one I used. Alcohol ink. Glitter. Gold, bronze, green. So it's like a color shift. So there's that one. I'm going to use that one today. And then a different time I'll use these ones. So this one is violet, blue, green. Blue, green, gold. And... Oops, there's a glare. Pink, green, gold. So once I've got this down pat that I know how to use this particular resin, then there's four colours here. So I'll use four, like I'll do um, a four coaster and use one of each just to see. But today I'm just going to go with the gold because that's what it did last night. Let me just open the door for Izzy. My dog's crying at the door. She wants to come in. Come on, Izzy Pops. Trouble child, aren't you? High demanding. Alright, so I'm just going to put some of this down. Give it a good shake. You can hear the little ball in there rattling away. So these are pretty easy to, to use if I can get into it. You just have to pull the plastic nozzle off. And oh, I guess the only issue is that the little, if you hold it straight up, the little ball blocks the. Um, blocks your way. I did find I had to put quite a lot in. But um, it, it turned out really pretty. I might have to order some more of these. <laughs> oh, unless Stephanie wants to send me some more. I didn't use them for so long and now I love it. And I'm going to have to order some more. Alright, so that will do for now. I might put some, on, some more on in a minute. Right, let's get to making the white. So I'm going to use the cast and craft. If you can, give your cast and craft a shake. Because it kind of separates and you get this like oily um, sort of residue on top. So in the 15 grams or half an ounce, I'm just going to put in two whoop, little drops. Two little drops. And then I'm going to follow that with some alcohol ink. And I'm going to use double the amount, so four drops. Um, Pinata white Blanco alcohol ink. I just refill this actually with the you know the bigger bottles, so it looks a bit grubby, but I just refill it. One, two, three, four. I think it just helps with the the flowing of the white. So I am going to put this in a piping bag rather than just draw petals with my stick which I've been doing the last few flowers but I want to just see how this goes with actually piping so it feels warm it's not hot and I've still got another five minutes so I won't bore you by standing here for the next five minutes but I'll do what I need to do and then I'll put you on pause. I'll wait till my time is up. Now, a lady on my Facebook group called Michelle, Michelle Renee. Hi, Michelle. She was doing these absolutely gorgeous 3D flowers. I don't think she videos them. She should, though. She's really good at it. Um, and she was using this, this resin. So hopefully um, I can create something as beautiful as hers. It's, um, see how it's kind of got some blank spots there? So I'm just going to kind of fill those in again. Oh gosh, here comes the rain again. There's a song about that, isn't there? Here comes the rain again. Am I might... <laughs> The only problem I have is with the ball, you're tipping it over and the ball goes into the, blocks the nozzle there. That's the only issue I have with these. I may have to actually go and take the ball out. There we go. It was stuck. 
might actually have to go and take it out. See, there's blank spots there, so I just want to fill them in. It's a really, really shimmery, pretty gold, this. And when you look at it at different angles, you can see different colors. So just making sure that I've got enough in there. It will spread. Okay, um, what are we doing? Right, it's, oh, and I'm going to put some gold, little gold stones in as well. So let's do that. Now these, I just got them from Amazon. I wrote on the jar here, this is my own jar that I, because it only came in a plastic bag, so I put them in a jar. This is 0 0.5 to 2 millimetres, because there was a different, there was a couple of different sizes, and I also got the other ones. Um, these ones are much bigger. These are, oh, four to six, I think, four to six millimetres. But I just wanted, I wanted both, so I got both. And look, I've got these cute little spoons. So I'm just going to put a bat. This is really easy to do for me. He always has trouble with my centres. I'm just putting a little scoop in the middle of each. Try and work out where my centre is. Okay, that's it. And then I'll stick it back in there and then I've got it for next time I want to use it. I've also got some silver ones. Just crushed glass. All right, now I'll use my silicone tip just to push those in. You can see how the resin's starting to get quite thick and sticky already. So I'm just going to push that in. That'll just be my centre. Matches the actual alcohol ink really nicely, this colour. Um, but then when I, when I do my others, my set of four, I might use some silver on two and gold on two. Alright, that's it. Um, now we're coming up to coming up to 10 to 9. I'm going to take this guy's temperature in here and I want it to be at about 38 degrees. So I'll hold it this way so that you can see without tipping the resin out. It always sort of starts cooling down a little bit when you've emptied it, like when you decanted it. So it might just take a little while longer, might have to wait just a little bit longer. But when it gets to about 37, it shoots up pretty quickly. Okay, so it's only at like 35, 36. So I'm going to just put you on pause for two minutes. And then uh, I'll come back to you once that's at, say, 37 or 38 degrees. this again it's not quite there yet but it's getting close oh, I'll just be holding it the wrong way <laughs> um, it was on 36.5 I'll just have to do it towards me so I can see oh. I'm gonna get started because I think if I leave it any longer um, I'll lose that window. It's only got a 20 minute work time, it says on the on the leaflet. So a little bit of a blank area here where the gold's pulled away. So I'll just pop a little bit more in. It's really pretty, isn't it? Ah. Okay, so now it is 25 minutes been 25 minutes since I stopped mixing so hopefully I haven't left it too long yesterday when I did the other little one I did 20 minutes I think so we'll see and I've only got half an ounce here so hopefully it's enough resin like it doesn't feel hot like uh, my other resins do when I get to this stage but uh, each resin's different, so I thought, well, 
I'll just try it because you know some people don't have the um, the platinum. Not everyone's got the platinum. Some of you have got different resins, so I'll go. Well, I'll, I'll use different resins and see see what happens. Now I'm just going to do petals for this one. It's going to go round and round in a particular design, and of course I'm always off to the side. And then the other one I'm going to draw little rings and pull the stick through. I don't know why I'm always off so much. The way up pipe I guess. Alright so that's that one done and let's hope I've got enough to do the next one. And the next one like I said I'm just going to do little rings circles trying to keep my resin the same thickness that's coming out Oops, and trying to squeeze as well at the same time Oops, I dripped a drop let that go oh fix that up in a minute. A little circle, a little circle, and a, look at that! Perfect amount! Woohoo! Let's clean my hands. Alright, so I'm not going to put any heat on them. I'm just going to leave them. I am just going to fix up that little blob there. If I can see any little blobs, I'll just try and fix them problem with the doing like this you come down into a blob and then you go back up and then you sort of where you join you have little blobs but I think it'll be all right now I'm going to give this actually I'll, I'll do this first and I'll come back and swirl that so here's our clock um, 12 6 3 9 Split the difference and then pull the stick out the opposite way in each of those. And that gives us that really pretty flower effect. Like if you if you're not confident with um, piping like that one, then you know do this one. I think you get a very similar sort of a look. Um, with this one you don't get the points obviously, but like that one you do. They're both really pretty. Um, and let me just torch both of them because during that does incorporate a bit of air. Now, um, the swirl. Not quite in the center on this one. A little bit of a swirl. I'm trying not to dislodge my gold underneath. And that's it. Cross fingers that it works. Let me clean up my mess, you guys, and then I'll bring you down for a close up. You know the drill clean up before you take your gloves off. All right, there we go. Now, everything's in the bin. I've wiped down. I can take you down for a close up. And let's hope this works. <laughs> always uh, always difficult when um, you use a new resin so that was the one that I did last night now that one I did just use my pop stick and I did like little petals with the pop stick so some of them are thicker some of them are thinner but you do get a, like a 3d look so it will be interesting to see how these go with just using the piping bag does look as if it's blooming Yay! <laughs> it's always such a worry when you do it and you think oh my god have I left it too long have I not left it enough so that was 25 minutes and my room temperature at the moment let me have a look is 24 degrees I've got the air conditioner on it's pretty hot outside but I've got the air conditioner on so it's sort of sitting at when I came in this morning it was 26 degrees but it's dropped to sort of 23 24 now so like I said, I'm not going to give it any heat. I'm just going to let it do its thing. And um, yeah, 
Um, I will have to wait. I'm not sure how long I have to wait. That one that I did last night, I, I waited like 12 hours, but it's a bit bendy still, so maybe I can take it out tonight at about 9 p.m. because it's a 9 a.m. now. It'll still be bendy, but I can't wait any longer than that. Mm. All right. They look as if they're working, you guys. Oh, my gosh. So excited. All right. See you soon. Hey guys, I decided I was going to do a top coat. Now these, see they're still bendy, but they are set. It's been, oh, it's been a few hours. It's 2.30 now in the afternoon. Uh, what time did I say I did this? <laughs> I can't even remember. Anyway, whatever time it was. Um, so I've got some um, Platinum 360 Plus made up because I know that's going to set up nice and quick. So hopefully this and this will be ready at the same time tomorrow. So, I just made up two ounces, hopefully one ounce for each, so 30 grams for each, 60 grams, two ounces, and put a bit of black pigment paste in that, because when I put the other one that I made last night up against the black card, it really made the white petals pop, and the gold glistening on there made it really sparkle, so... I thought let's just put some gold some black on it's not going to take any longer to set up because you know, like I said this resin sets up nice and quick so it's not going to push back my setting time at all so I thought yeah let's do it and then um, you could potentially do some gold around the edges but we'll see what it looks like sometimes less is more you know and you get that really delicate pretty look without having that harsh gold edge but we'll see I, I do I do do it on some um, and not on others so let's just pour that on I'm just going to pick it up and move it around a little bit just to get it to coat I have a little bit of room left in the mold not a lot but enough to do a, a thin top coat because I didn't fill them up all the way it's always a good idea if you think you may want to do a top coat. Uh, don't fill your moulds up too far. So probably didn't even need that much. And I like doing this, just sort of swirling it around because then you don't have the risk of um, scratching the piece underneath because it's not set yet and uh, you have to be careful not to scratch it with your stick if you try and spread it with a stick or a palette knife or whatever you are using I just find this is easy and you can get to all your little spots because resin wants to self level anyway so it's going to get into all those little areas what's going on there I may have got some resin over the edge <laughs> a little bit all right now that that's done let's give that a quick torch and then I'll just pour a little bit more on just to bring it up to the top of the mold like so all right let me have a look across the top quickly this one here could do a little bit more. I stand over there and I look across the top into the the light because there's a window just on my left and I look across and it, I can see very clearly if there's anything on the surface or if I've still got a little bit of space left to fill. So that's a good little tip if you've got a window nearby that you can look across the top of your piece into that light. All right, so there we go. I think I'm done. This one can have a little bit more. The other one's done. Okay, so there we go. Tiny, tiny little bit left. Not much at all. And uh, so, yeah, I'll leave that and I'll come back to you in the morning. And hopefully they are going to be beautiful. See you then. 
Good morning, I'm back and I've got uh, a table here set up right in front of my window in my studio to get some natural light coming in. So we'll see how that goes because sometimes, you know, when you're in the studio, the lighting cannot be the best. You can kind of have a bit of a yellowish tinge, but I'm hoping that um, with the natural sunlight, it'll be pretty. All right, let's get that out. Actually, let's get them both out. There's a bit of overflow there. Let's get them both out, hey? And then we can look at them together. There we go. Look at that. Do you like my new background? It's pretty, hey? <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's move that one out of the way for a minute. Are you ready? One, two, three. Oh, wow. Look at the sparkle in that, you guys. Wow. Look at that. Can you see the sparkle? That's so pretty. And look at those petals. Oh my gosh, that is just gorgeous, isn't it? Wow. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. <gasps> wow. Okay, so you get a, it's a totally different look when you pipe. I'll put that, oh, I'll just put it over there for a minute out of the way. Let's have a look at this one. I guess it's going to be the, oh no, one of them. Oh, this must, this must have been the one where I did the, um, the circles and then I've obviously pulled through with a stick. So that's that one. I couldn't remember which is which because you can't see because of the black. Now this is the one where I actually piped the petals. Right, so here we go. Let's have a look at this one. See what the difference is. <gasps> Oh wow, I think I do like these better when you, you pipe it like that. How's the colour for you guys? Is it, is it alright? I'm always worried about the, the colour of the video. Look at that sparkle. Wow. That is so pretty. So this one looks more... I shouldn't say it looks more like a flower. It's just different. Like they're both really pretty. But the one on my left was done, you know, drawing petals and then the other one was drawing the rings and then pulling the stick through. So do you have a preference? Which one do you like? And then the one I did the other day, um, which is this guy. Um, I'll put him on the black because he hasn't he hasn't got a black backing this one. So that one's the one that I just drew. I just pulled the um, white through with the, a stick. So you can see the difference. It's a little bit more organic, I guess. But uh, yeah, amazing these two. Love them. Love them, love them, love them. What do you think? Let me know what you think of these two. Um, I definitely am going to do them again in different colours because I think they look so pretty. Oh, I don't know which I prefer, the left or the right. I don't know. Anyway, that's it for me. Um, move on to something else. I want to do some metallic pastes and see how I go without using white paste just using metallic colors so we'll see how that goes hey so if you haven't already subscribed and hit that little bell so you'll be notified when I do put that video up if you want to watch it all right thanks for watching guys take care love you all thanks for watching bye for now